right, so tonight on our team call, we are gonna be talking about um, using your social media, and then, in, so Facebook and Instagram, and then also I'm gonna talk a little bit about Instagram features, which I used to do probably since I've been a coach, and I kind of stopped for some reason, um, and we've recently started again. So I wanna talk about that, and then also some ways I'm switching up my challenge group to get more engagement. So first on Facebook, don't be a robot. Like don't think you have to sound perfect, don't think that you need to be professional and be a fitness guru, and oh my gosh, I don't eat carbs. Nobody likes that person, <laughs> and nobody connects with that person. So just be you. Um, you know, I am always talking, especially with pregnancy, like I've literally changed the way I eat so much, it's pathetic. But I'm not like trying to hide that from people. I'm not like, oh, here's my clean eating for the day. Like, no, I'll tell you, like it was clean and then I added ranch and cheese. And so, you know, I talk about that to people. And you just wanna be real because you don't wanna attract people that are eating rabbit food and running marathons every day. You wanna attract the people that are in love with food and can't say no to pizza. So those are the people that will you know, connect with you. Um, and then consistency. If you make a post, don't think that because you made a post about a challenge group or because you made a post about Shakeology, somebody's gonna be like, you know, Danielle, that post you made six weeks ago about Shakeology, I'd like more information nobody's gonna freaking do that so be consistent and the most important part about being consistent with posting is it makes your job easier when you're being consistent with posting half the time people will come to you about it or if you are messaging a new person starting a conversation they'll say something like oh yeah I saw that you've been working out a lot how's that going they will literally open up the, the question for you so you don't have to be like, how do I bring fitness into this so I can start talking to them? So that is the beauty of, oh my gosh, Ashley, that was not as adorable, I'm looking at it. Um, so that's the beauty of being able to be consistent so that helps your business and it, does, it helps you with not having to pull teeth. And in the beginning, you are gonna be pulling some teeth and you are gonna be trying to figure out how to bring up fitness but you know what, if somebody likes your pay, your post, you can go back through and like what I love to do is I'll go through like the last five posts and I'll see who liked it. If they're not a coach or a client, I'll send them a message. I'll write it down everybody's name and you know, try to follow up with five to 10 a day. You can write them in your planner for future. Say if 30 people liked it, you know, write out five a day in your planner of people to follow up with and you can say, you know, hey girl, I just wanted to say thanks so much for the love of my post. I know it sounds goofy, but I appreciate it so much because sometimes it's hard put for me to put myself out there. Um, you know, and depending on what the post is, if it was a coach group, if it was a challenge group post, say something like, so tell me about you, you know, um, are you into fit, health and fitness? And don't feel bad about opening it up. You're not like, do you want to buy my product? Do you want to sign your life away? Um, you know, it's so helpful to just go in, say thank you, be vulnerable, give them a compliment, and then ask them if they're into health and fitness. It's seriously, like just, it's mindless, and it's a great way to start new conversations. Um, so yeah, Danielle says, I've been doing that lately and getting either crickets or they are ready to sign up. Exactly, and if they're, if they're I mean, neither, crickets isn't a bad thing, you're planting a seed, they, sometimes people are just busy, like they were like, oh, I read that, and then I was out of the grocery store and I forgot to respond. Th that's life, it doesn't mean they are like, shut up, you stupid freak, in their head, they, people forget. Um, or they're ready to sign up. So yeah, and, uh, and especially when you have a post with a lot of engagement, just go through that and make a list, even if you don't message them that day, that's a great way to, you know, your hey girl messages for the week. I do that with all my baby bump pictures because that is something that I get a ton of engagement with. So I go through and I write down everybody if they're not a coach or a client, and those are the people that I'm gonna follow up with that week. Um, so yeah, if you're worried about how to start a conversation, that's perfect. Start posting and start talking to the people that are engaging and make sure those people are getting added to your list because they're definitely watching you and they're definitely seeing what you're posting. That being said, people are always watching even if they're not liking or commenting. So that's another reason why it's so important to be consistent. I have so many people that will message me out of the blue, never once like or comment on anything and they're like, I've been watching your post for months and, and I'm like, who are you? Where did you come from? So just be consistent. And then think about what you are posting and why. You really do wanna post value. Um, this is where having a posting schedule really comes into play when you know that, okay, this is a personal post. So I'm gonna talk about Mac or I'm gonna talk about um, pregnancy or I'm gonna talk about um, 
Chipotle, <laughs> you know, something that um, is your target market. So um, I don't know how target Chipotle became my target market, but it is. So, you know, think about things that you like, wine, peanut butter, pizza, those are all my things. And pe German Shepherd, people tag me and stuff like that all the time. Doesn't matter if it has nothing to do with fitness, people are paying attention to you. So you want to make sure people can get to know you. Um, I have people all the time, they'll be from Instagram and they say, I feel like I know you. And it's because literally I put so much stuff out there and you can, you don't have to be like me. I mean, I literally am at the point where half the time, by the time I see my relatives, I'll tell them the story. They're like, yeah, I saw that on Facebook. I'm like, dang it. I don't save anything. <laughs> um, so you don't have to be like me, but that's exactly how I am. And people feel like they know me because I'm like that. And I know some people are, you know, less public and that's totally fine. It's your business. You can run it exactly how you want to. Um, so finding a posting schedule, if you look in our, um, beautifully made, let me share my screen really quick because I've had a couple people tell me that they don't know how to access, um, photo albums. So can you guys see the beautifully made group? Okay. When you're here, um, you click on photos and then click on albums. And oh my gosh, look at all these fabulous photo albums. There's so much helpful things. Um, Shakeology post examples, challenge group post ideas, help wanted, which is basically coaching, coming out as a coach. So this is awesome. I love to point new coaches here. Um, here's some great examples of new coaches of how they posted. And if you click on it, you'll also see the words um, exactly of how they posted. So that's a really great tool. Uh, and if you guys have any coaches that make awesome new coach posts, um, feel free to upload them in there because this is for our entire downline to learn. What did I just do? Photos. I came in here for a reason. Easily sidetracked. Okay. Um, so this post, this training tips for coaches, this is really great. You can pop in here. Um, I've got scripts and things in here too. Just feel free to take a look because there's a ton of helpful stuff in here. Um, so here's one posting schedule and then I have another one here as well. So you can use either of them. This say, you know, I would shoot to post three to five times a day and you can kind of tweak this. It says motivational quote, make it your own with a selfie. Um, a great app to use is word swag. That is just iPhone only. If you guys have Android and have an app that you love, um, please share it with us in the chat. But word swag is really cool. Um, it's iPhone only, but it's almost like a, it looks like a graphic designer. The words are really cool. You can do so many different colors and just add it on top of a picture of yourself. Um, you know, but just know, and then you can put, put this in your phone and know every Tuesday is going to be a tasty Tuesday and I'm going to share a recipe, you know, and, and not your workout related pick. So say it's Wednesday and you're going to post your workout related pick. Don't just post workout done. People are going to be like, cool and keep scrolling. <laughs> like it doesn't do anything. So take that and either make it into something motivational or, you know, say something like, I didn't feel like doing it today. Have you ever been that way? You know, asking questions, getting them to engage, you know, maybe you can turn it into a motivational or you can maybe plug your next challenge group, whatever you want to do. Or maybe you can do the workout related pick and talk about a success of one of your challenger or fellow coach or something like that. So just make sure that you are adding value and you never just want to be like lunch with a picture of your salad. Tell them how you made the salad. You know, I don't care if it's an omelet. Like people will be like, I'll share a spinach omelet recipe and people are like, Oh, I have to try this. Thank you. And I'm like, it's a spinach omelet. Like <laughs> you're still adding value. So, um, if you're posting food, I always tell people, don't just post a picture of your food. Tell them how you made it. And even if it's a recipe that, um, you copied and pasted, just, you can say comment below if you want the recipe, then that gets people engaging on your post as they engage on your post they are going to see your post more. So you could either drop, after they all comment, you could drop the recipe in the comments, or I love to individually message people and say, hey girl, thanks, I saw you commented, wanted the recipe, it's so good, um, here it is. So tell me about you, how have you been doing with your you know, eating? And it's a, it's a way to start that conversation and talk to them about that. So definitely could take a look in here, this group, is, this photo album has so much cool stuff. Um, Lots and lots of good stuff there. And just come in here and look at, you know, all the other photo albums. Another thing, since I have you on, and I know some of you are newer coaches or just getting started, take a look at this pin post. And um, where is it? Oh, our team, team documents are all in OneDrive. 
if you click here, this is like seriously liquid gold. There's so much good stuff here. And then, so I've got coach training files, challenge groups. I've got templates and scripts and all everything you see in my 21 day fix group. It's in there and you can use it and make your own challenge group. Um, power hour tips, posting tips. I've got scripts of how to talk to people. Um, I even have some free personal development in here. So, you know, just go, I've got, did I ever wake up the slight edge? You can listen to both of those for free. There's a book in here. Um, there's PD book list. There's so much good stuff. So just go take a look in there. If you could like literally never come out of our um, team training and still have stuff to learn. So just know that that is such a cool thing and you can share that with your team as well. And it's just free training for any time you need to learn. So, um, okay, let me just check the chat and see if there's any questions real quick. Where is it? Oh, <laughs> Ashley, what did you say? You never knew that existed. The, the Google drive. Let's see. Word swag. Yes. You said it correctly. Marion. Fonto works really well, but it's not really fancy. Yeah. Fonto photify. Does WordSwag add its name to the post? No. And for InstaQuote, Abby, all you can pay 99 cents and get rid of InstaQuote. I hate that. I don't know why it bothers me. Um, yeah. Oh, the photo albums. Yes, the photo albums are golden. So um, just add things there and have your team add there. You know, if you have a coach that was like, oh, that was an awesome rock star post, I want to put that there. So then I can tag my coaches later and show them an example of how to make a coach post. Or um, there's, a, there's a photo album that's called Sexy Shake Picks. And you can use like Shakeology pictures that people made them look good and stuff like that. So feel free to, you know, hop in there um, and look at that kind of stuff. So any questions about that so far? Anything we covered? Okay. Um, all right. The other thing is, since we're talking about apps, bright pictures. If you pay, post a like sloppy dark picture of your, you know, egg that looked like somebody mass murdered it, chances are people are going to be not going to be like, can you tell me that recipe or, you know, something like that. So, um, I, and I'm not like a plater by any means. I'd never make it look pretty or anything, but the, the trick is, is having good lighting. So I know if you're at work, it's hard, but if you're ever at home, I'm that freak in my neighborhood that I take, I take three steps outside and I take a picture and I go back inside because the lighting outside is better. And I really don't care. I don't care at all what my husband thinks and I don't care at all what my neighbors think. So um, no, better lighting is always going to help. The other one is I love the app Vibrantly um, for, and that is for iPhone too. I actually got it on my iPad when I had a Droid. If you ever, if your contact is ever up and you need a new phone, uh, because I've had both, there's so many things that help me with my business with iPhone. So if you do ever upgrade, I would always say iPhone. Um, I've had both. There's certain things I love about my Droid. I'm not like team iPhone all the way because there's so many things I love. But honestly, there's some, oh, I said that privately. How did I do that? I meant to type out. There we go. Um, okay, so yeah, making your posts look good. Vibrantly is that good app. Um, it doesn't work with food photo or pictures for your face because it makes it grainy, but it works with food photos. Um, type in some of your favorite apps that you guys use. Mine is Camera Plus. If you guys ever see something that looks like there's like a halo around any of my pictures, I've usually lose, use Camera Plus, the HDR filter. Um, so I'll type word swag again. What else do I use? Snapseed, haven't heard of that. Um, Whiteagram. So say you have a cool picture, but it's not square and you can't crop it without cutting your head, head off. Whiteagram is cool because it'll just add white to the sides, either this way or this way. Um, and then, uh, so those are some of my, let me check and see if there's anything else that I have in my little app. Uh, if you ever want to blur anything out, um, aviary does cool where you can like blur out the background. There's some things in that. Oh, perfect. 365. I love that. That's, um, how I do my makeup every day by taking a picture and putting it on my makeup. See the picture I posted today? I looked really pretty. 
I have not put any makeup on today. Um, and, <laughs> and when anybody ever compliments like on my eyelashes, I'm like, girl, it's a nap. I don't pretend like, I don't think that like you need to, you know, pretend you're perfect. Cause if anybody says like, Oh, you look so great. I am never, ever, ever going to be like, thanks. I'm like, girl, it's a nap. I can't lie. And so I just think it's funny. I'm not about like ever pretending you're anything you're not, but if your face looks a mess, I'm okay with adding a little mascara because I'm too lazy to do it in person because it takes three seconds to do on the app. Um, so that's just a tip. And every you don't have to pretend you're flawless. I don't do it on every picture, just here and there. Um, so yeah, so filter and make sure that your pictures are bright because especially on Instagram too, and if you're just sharing on one to the other, might as well make them both look pretty. But people are drawn to pictures. Just think about how you scroll on Facebook. Do you stop at like a dirty, ugly photo of somebody's kitchen? No, like, no. <laughs> so you want to make sure that it's something engaging because people, we have like attention span of a goldfish these days. So you need to be stand out. And especially on Instagram, say when people are searching hashtags, they're looking and the picture is like this big. So if it's dark, they're not even going to stop on yours. So take the extra time. Yes, it may take three extra minutes or so, um, but it's honestly worth it because like today I posted a picture because my phone was going to die and it's at 1% and I didn't filter it. And I was like, oh, it could be so much brighter. I'm like, it's okay. Like I have a filter addiction. <laughs> it's okay. It doesn't have to all be perfect, but I just want to be um, I en I get engaging. Uh, Rana, or Rona, however you say it. Um, no app that I know of that gets rid of your bedhead. Actually, Perfect 365 does wigs too. You can do that. They never actually look good, but they're hysterical. I put one on my dad with eyelashes. It was really fun. Um, so yeah, Rana is really cool. There's some really pretty fonts in there as well. Um, if you're using your uh, computer, Canva and PicMonkey are cool as well. They're only computer. I love Canva because you can save templates and like pop pictures in later. So like, for example, Danielle's anniversary was this week for coaching. Yay, when you're coaching anniversary. And so was Amber's. Um, I just have a template and I pop in people's photos to that. So yes, it's the same photo, but it's easy, really easy for me. I get it done and it's still a nice gesture. Um, for my diamond posts, I have the same template. I just change the words, their name, their team name, pop in their photo, it's done. Um, you know, things like that. If you uh -huh. like a leaderboard, you can do it once, have it in there, and then pop in the photos or names or whatever. So I love Canva because you can save it and edit it. So it might take you some time the first time you make it, but then after that, it's just a matter of plopping in their face and changing the name. Love that. Um, anytime you post food pics, I talked about this, share the recipe because that's where the value come in, comes in. Um, and use your own ver verbiage. Because, you know, if you know what I'm talking, I always like say silly things or, um, you know, we'll spell things differently because I'm silly and that's how I talk. Don't be afraid to just talk like you. Um, a perfect example of that is Sarah Smith. You can follow her. Um, and also when you're looking at, like when I talk about top, you know, other diamond coaches on our team, don't add them as friends because they are getting high on their friend list. Just click follow because you can see all their stuff. Um, unless you're in their direct downline, I always say just follow them because you don't want, you only have 5,000 friends. So for me, I only put people in my downline, you know, for them, you're a coach on their team, but they're, you're not in their direct downline. So they may not accept it. And don't take that to heart. Like when you have 4,900 friends and you're trying to add more challengers, you're going to be the same way. Like, sorry, I don't accept coaches, you know, so don't take it to heart, but follow anybody that's not like your direct, um, you know, diamond upline. But yeah, Sarah Smith um, is, is really, I always say, is really good at that. She's always like, you know, being silly, shortening words and things like that. Don't do that if you don't talk like that, if you're not, you know, that's not you. But make your post sound like exactly how you would talk to your best friend. And that's the best tips that I can give you is just talk, post like you're talking to your best friend. Don't try to sound polished. Don't try to sound professional. People are attracted to you and you're you for a reason. Um... Danielle said she started a food album on her page for them all. I love the album idea. I stole that from Ashley Lindsay. She does a really great job at that. She's got like a photo album for her kids. She's got like a photo album for her tribe. She's got a photo album for her food. Um, one when her husband was doing like the three week journey. Um, and it's really, really cool. It's worked really well for her. So you can follow her too and see how she does that. And the cool thing about putting it into an album, instead of just a post one time and people liking it, 
is each time you make a post, people are to that album, the album pops up. So they like that album. They may click on other things and see other things. And each time you make it, that album pops up so they can see other things as well. So it gets a lot of engagement. Um, okay, let's see. All right, so that's, I'm gonna move on to Instagram. Does anybody have any other specific Facebook questions? Make sure you ask questions too. Like I, at least once a week, I will ask a question, but probably, probably once a day, if not every other day, I'm asking a question within a post. Um, just because I want people to talk to me, I want people to comment because I want them to see more stuff. Uh, Kim, you do what? What's your question? <laughs> Ask me. <laughs> if you post to your Facebook album, the post shows in your main feed. Yeah. It'll show in your feed. Um, Ashley, what did you say the other day? She, if you post, do you want to say it real quick? You're the queen of those. Hear me? Yeah, talk a little louder. Okay. Um, if you are posting to your album, if you post one picture, that one picture will pop up on the newsfeed. If you happen to post like two in a row to that album, um, it kind of puts them together and you can't see the specific caption that comes with it. It just shows that you added two photos to that album. So what I try to do is I'll add one photo to my um, tribe album and then my next picture that I upload will be like my family or my kids. Um, if I do have two pictures that I want to put into my album right in a row, I'll just upload it as a regular photo on my computer. And then later on that night, I'll go back and I'll just send that picture into the album because you can transfer them off of your um, regular ones. You can move them in any album you want. Okay. But if you put them both together, then you don't get to see the captions. Gotcha. Yeah, it'll just kind of say, like, Ashley Lindsay added two photos to – her, uh, the good vibe tribe and it won't it'll show like smaller pictures and it won't say the actual caption so they don't get to see that post like they normally would so if you have two you can you know post one in there and then post one to your regular page and it, it, it doesn't matter it's not really a time frame I don't know I think it's just if you haven't posted to another album is that right I think I don't know if it might be like if it's like the next day or something then it's okay but if you have, I think, the same day, it just combines them together. Yeah. So, you know, I think albums are a great way. I would create one for your food. Um, you know, for me, I created one that's like all the pregnancy noms or something like that. Um, you could create one for your family. And then another cool thing about that is if you're worried about things being private or public or whatever, if you added all your family pics to that family album, you could make that album that only friends could see it. Um, or it's private or something like that. So it's another way too for the moms that are just a little like, oh, my, my account's public, I'm worried with my kids. You can always make that private so that, you know, certain people or just your friends or something like that, see. Um, so yeah, and I love how Ashley does it. She has the Good Vibe Tribe as an album. And then when she has people that are interested in coaching or challenge, she can send them right to that album and say, hey, this is an idea of, you know, what we are about and uh, it's really cool. So, um, all right, so for Instagram, same thing with pictures. Make them bright because people are going to, it's even more so than Facebook. People decide in a split second if they want to go to your page and go to see what your thing is about. And if they go to your feed and it's a bunch of collages, a bunch of dark pictures, or a bunch of pictures of your kids, no matter how cute they are, that does not add value to them. That's something your mom and you know your grandma would love but people that are looking on instagram are usually looking for value so you know i don't say don't post pictures of your kids or don't post pictures of your dogs but make sure you're focusing on value um on my on my instagram i try to keep my posts shorter because you know here and there i still have long ones but i try to keep them short and sweet uh, and you know sharing your story and you know talking about the same things you'd post on Facebook, but I try to really be a little bit more strict on value on Instagram. Uh, you know, that's why my whole goal with from people on Instagram is to get them to add me to Facebook because on Facebook, they say more of me. They say more of my personality. They say more of my real life because I try to make sure I'm adding value on Instagram. If you look at my Instagram, mine is April K underscore McDonald. Um, you don't have to do this. I, my coach Kelly did this with white photos and I just really loved it. So I took it 
and I made it pink. <laughs> and if you want to know how to make it colored, I can show you how to do that. But so every like third picture is like a word and I make it like a caption or something and I make it pink. And then other ones I have like a lot of them are workout selfies or I'll post videos or I'll share recipes or it'll be a baby bump picture or something like that. You don't have to do that for me. That just works. Um, and I know that, okay, I should probably post a food picture. I should post a pink picture. That's funny. And then I should, I'm going to post a, a workout. So that for me helps me. Um, you don't have to do it that way. I just, just make sure that you're, when people come to your page, it's bright, and, you know, kind of look at that. Um, look at that. Look at other, well, I can't talk at all. Look at other accounts that you like and think about why you follow them and you know what you like about theirs. And chances are they're probably great photos, they look good. So, all right, I'll Kimberly asked how to make it pink. I'll say real quick. So you go to your Instagram and okay, so I picked a photo, then I click next, and I click there's filter and edit. I click edit. I gotta figure out how to do this. All right. Where is it? This is like seriously the hardest thing ever. Okay, color. No less fade. Color is the rainbow. I pick the color. All right, then I click highlight. And then I click. So you can see it's pink, and you can even click it again and make it darker pink if you want. So that's what I do. And then sometimes I'll go back to where you can pick color and to the left of that is saturation. And I can be darker or lighter. <laughs> so that's just really quick. <laughs> Somebody is so unhappy and I don't know where to mute. Where did it go? Oh, you know. I'm crying, baby. Okay. <laughs> um, Let's see what's next. Uh, you know, just be you because that's when people really connect with you. Share your, share your story and share it often because people, people follow you every day. New people follow you all the time. So make sure that you're sharing your story because I don't care if you say, oh, I shared it last month. Oh, cool. But all those new followers missed it and not everybody is looking at your post all the time. So they may have missed that or they may not want to scroll down that. So don't think like, oh, I don't want to share a story. I just shared it two weeks ago. You can't tell me that every single person that you're friends with saw that on Facebook or Instagram. Share your story often. That is how you really genuinely build connections with people. And you should post about a challenge group once a week. You should post about coaching once a week. And I love to call them coach sprinkle posts where you're, you know, oh, best job ever, you know, things like that. Like today I made a post um, and I just kind of was like, hashtag I have the best, best boss ever. Like, you know, silly things like that. I'm always posting little sprinkle posts. It doesn't have to be like, Hey, I'm looking for five people to join my team. But every day I am sprinkling that I love my job. And then when people, I do make that, Hey, if you're interested, message me or comment to join because my new coach training starts Monday and my seven day training starts every Monday. You are welcome to say my new coach training starts Monday. Own it. Fake it till you make it. Pretend it's yours. <laughs> I, you can add them to it. So it doesn't matter that just honestly, the more that you Right now, believe that you're a five-star diamond elite coach and act like it. People are going to catch up on that, and they want to be a part of it. doesn't matter if you're not even an Emerald coach yet. Fake it till you make it. And that is, like, literally the best advice I can give you because people don't know how many coaches you have on your team. They don't know how many challengers you have. I don't care if you say, oh, my gosh, somebody in my challenge or one of my challengers today is, you know, fit into, uh, you know, wore a pair of jean shorts for the first time in 10 years. I don't care if it's another coach on our team and you didn't sign her on. She's one of your challengers because she's in your challenge group. So little things like that, you know, making those posts make people other, other people want to know that it works. People want to know that you're being successful. So when you make posts like that, they're like, oh, this is really working for her and her clients. I don't care. It, it's not a lie. You are, are surrounded by other people that are working on themselves. Talk them up. So on your posting schedule, you should have at least once a week where you share a challenger success. And I don't care if it's not one of your challengers, if you haven't made a sale in your challenge group that you're in, um, there are going to be people with successes and share that. Um, okay. Bright photos, be you, um, filter the crap out of stuff, ask questions, get people to talk back to you. I love to share funny things. So that way people, 
will tag their friends. A lot of times they'll tag their friends and then they'll like your page. So they'll start, you know, following you. So that's why I always do that pink photo. It's, it's always something silly or goofy or funny. People always tag their friends and then I usually get a little more followers that way too, which is cool. Um, videos. Videos are so good, whether it's a recipe, whether it's you working out, whether it's you being silly and dancing to a song. People can get to know you through videos and it's 2016 and people love live. People love videos. So um, what I say is do videos. Also, you can go live on your Facebook page as scary as it is. Do it. If you want to share a recipe, do it live on your Facebook. If you want to um, do a video, do it live on your Facebook. Or one time I did um, the last minute of insanity because it's a power move. And I said, I'm doing this to keep me accountable because I always quit. And if you're watching me for a minute, I'll make sure I do it. Like it was only a minute long, but it was just like, all right, thanks for, thanks for keeping me accountable. Like it can be something simple. Um, Molly Trumpler the other day did a, uh, she was getting ready for work and she was like, doing the Rihanna work song. She was like singing and pretending to dance to it. And it was like 45 seconds long and it was hysterical. She's like, okay, bye. You know, that's how people, you know, get to connect with you. Um, Ashley Lindsay is always doing videos of like her working out with her kids or her husband. They're adorable. People eat that stuff up. People love that. So, um, you know, if you have kids, use them. If you had, you were trying to do planks and your dog or cat is like in your face, don't edit it out. That's not a blooper. That's people connecting with you. Um, and then it, when you do go live, so for example, you know, if you want to go live about something, say it's like, Hey, I'm going to talk about, you know, ways to stay healthy during cookouts or barbecues or on the weekend at 10, 10 AM today, get, check me out later. Or, you know, tomorrow at da, 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 I'm going to go live about this. If you can remind people ahead of time, that works even better and then go live. Um, and when you go live, start talking right away. Don't be like, I'm gonna wait for somebody to hop on. Is my makeup okay? Because people are gonna watch that recording later, and if you're doing that in the beginning, they're, gonna quit. they're not gonna continue watching. They're gonna be like, this is lame. So I go right in, introduce myself, say what I'm gonna talk about. Say, for those of you watching the recording, if nobody's on, for those of you watching the recording, what I'm gonna talk about today is da 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 da. Go right into it. Don't wait on people to get there, start talking, add the value, pretend there's 10 people watching you even if there's nobody. I can't tell you how many times I've gone live and nobody is watching and I keep going and I pretend they're watching and I'm speaking to those people that are watching the recording. So going live is a, a really, really great cool uh, uh, tool. Let's see, can you post where to find sexy shape fix? Uh, it's on the photo album of the team page. Let's see. Oh, wait. I feel like I just, I wish you could go live from a desktop instead of only the app. Yeah, you have to do it from your phone. You can't do live from your PC. Um, okay, that was all the questions. So then on Instagram, let's talk about hashtags. Don't use hashtag Beachbody Coach. Don't use hashtag Shakeology because who is searching that? other Beachbody coaches or other people using Shakeology or other people trying to sell you Shakeology even though you're using the Shakeology hashtag. That's a waste of time. Uh, also, don't use hashtag fitness because you and 7 billion people are using that and if people are looking at the exact millisecond you post it, maybe they'll see your picture, but probably not. So when you go to Instagram, um, this is really important. I have in my phone, I have a list of 25 hashtags and I slap it on every picture and here and there, you can have 30 Per, per picture. So I just have 25 and I will edit some and like say if it's a co coffee photo, I will have my 25 and then I'll add, you know, four to five half coffee specific. Uh, I hate my life. I can't talk. Hashtags. So um, that is basically what I do. I don't care that I use German Shepherd Lover on a post and it's about coffee because if they go to my page, they're going to see German Shepherd. So that's okay. So um, what I do is I save it in the notes section of my phone and then I just copy it each time. So um, I'm not going to go into that because Tanner did an awesome call on Instagram. So if you go, wait, that wasn't on my team call. That was a pot of goals call. So I will get that link, right, Tanner? Oh, she's gone. I think that was a pot of goals. Yeah. Um, so I will get that link um, for you to watch for Instagram because she gave so many good tips there. Um, let's see. What else? Sound. Does anybody. <laughs> Don't scare me. Does 
anybody use Snapchat? I was actually going to do a post today because I cannot understand Snapchat and be like, things I don't understand, quantum mechanics, and do like all these brainiac things and then be like, and Snapchat. <laughs> I felt like an 80 year old um, because my best friends were like, you have to get it. That's how we're going to talk to each other. And I was like, okay. So, um, I don't know, there's probably tutorials if you need, but uh, my best advice is get your 16 year old, uh, get Jason's daughters and have them teach you because they'll know. <laughs> That's my best advice. My five year old niece. And that was my plan. <laughs> my five year old niece is like, oh, let me show you. And I'm like, <laughs> so um, if you have somebody that's like literally below the age of, you know, 20 and above and five or over, they can probably teach you how to use Snapchat. So, <laughs> um, had 23 people screenshot it. Screenshot what? Oh, giveaway for Snapchat. I literally just organized my Shaco packets, took a pic and said anyone who screenshots the pic gets in a raffle to win a packet. I do not understand that. Can you tell me what that means? Maybe you ever, anybody else. No, uh, on my Snapchat, I feel like it's the people who are kind of a lot more um, that you kind of connect with every single day rather than just like posting to randomness on Facebook. So like, I don't ever take my Shakeology cup or like packet really or anything like that and post it on Facebook. But on my Snapchat yesterday, uh, I was going through looking at like expiration dates on my Shake packets. So I decided to organize them all and I just took a picture of it. And instead of just sending it to like, you know, the people I usually send my Snapchats to, I put it on my story and I just um, kind of like filtered it on Snapchat. And all I said was, um, screenshot this picture if you want a chance to win one of these packets. And I had 23 people screenshot it. And a lot of more people I didn't even think were interested at all in, in the shakes. Um, and all I did was put their names into wheel to side and then I picked a winner and then they, that's who wins the packet. And I just sent it to them. So they took your screenshot from Snapchat and posted it on Facebook. Well, they just screenshotted my Snapchat and I'm able to view everyone who screenshots it. Oh my gosh. So all 23 names yeah. of those people. And I, I wrote them all down, all of those people. And that's all not 23 new people basically. I'll learn something new. Do you need something? Ice. I can't help you with that. Sorry. I said, do you need something? And you said ice. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah. Snapchat is, is really cool. Gary, I hate my dog. Um, Gary V is awesome, and he's a big investor in Snapchat, and he does a ton of everything on there. Uh, if you follow, um, oh my God. Tanner, help me. What's... He was. He did the Dallas event. Um, Jimmy Hayes Nelson. Thank you, Jimmy Hayes Nelson. Seriously, like I can't function. Okay, um, he is always using Snapchat and and does awesome trainings and stuff about that too. Jimmy Hayes Nelson is really cool. You can follow him. He does a lot of training live on his Facebook for Beachbody coaches, and um, that's really cool too. So, yeah, if you guys have any Snapchat questions, I'm not the biggest Snapchatter, but basically. I mean, I just document my day, like things about the dog, things about pizza, things about, you know, whatever. Um, it doesn't have to be all fitness related, but then in there, like how Ashley did throwing and things like that. Um, because people won't follow you really just for, um, you know, every, a picture of your shake every day. That's not going to be, so they have to, they want to see you be silly, be goofy, things like that. Um, all right. And then the last thing is, uh, Instagram features and challenge groups. So for the Instagram feature, um, basically, I started doing this a ton in the beginning um, when my coach Kelly was teaching me how she grew her Instagram. And there are big Instagram accounts, um, and you can actually they have in their bio it says kick k okay, k okay, and it says their username. And then you can download that app. It's basically a way to kind of message or text people without giving them your phone number. And so you can say, hey, I'm interested in a feature. How much is it? So they are a little bit more expensive, but for me, I was trying to pay Facebook ads. I was trying to do this. I was trying to do that. And I wasn't getting a lot of, I was really not getting any conversion for Facebook like pages. So I switched to back to Instagram because that's what works for me. Don't break it. It's not fit. It's not broke. Don't fix it kind of thing. So, um, we, uh, one account that's really great is fit girls underscore inspire. Um, they, you can probably find other ones that 
are not as pricey. Um, I don't have a list of other on hand. I don't know where I put that list, but basically just know that you can go to big accounts that have like this one I use has like over 700,000 followers. There's huge accounts and basically you just go find them and message them on kick and say, Hey, I'd like a feature. How much is it? You can do a bundle. Um, you know, for fit girls inspire, I think I did five posts for $240. And that sounds like crazy. It's about what $48 a feature or something, but I usually sell a couple challenge packs for every post or sign a couple coaches. So for me, it is worth it. I make that money back some. Um, uh, so for me, that works. I was dumping a bunch of money into my Facebook like page. I wasn't seeing any conversion. So for me, that's worth it. I'm just budgeting that in as my marketing. Uh, if you have any questions, just post in our team page. But basically what I'll do is I'll post um, either a transformation and I'll say, follow me or, you know, I'll, put, I'll talk about a challenge group or I'll make a post um, girl boss wanted and talk about joining my team. You know, you can have them drop their emails. Tanner's done this and had a ton of success. I think she had five phone calls today from a feature she did last night of people that were interested in coaching. So it works. It's worth it. Um, you know, it's just, it's awesome. I like it a lot. Um, the other thing is on Tanner's call, she talked to, um, that I'm going to share. She talked about Instagress. And if you don't know about that, it's a app where it's a, basically you can go to Instagress.com and, um, pay, you can do a free trial and then you can pay, I think it's like 10 bucks for 30 days or something. And you can pick hashtags. I always say, delete all the hashtags that are in there. Use your target market hashtags and they will like and comment, um, whatever you want. I turn the comments off. I really only like, like people's post and that gets people they're like who is this person that liked a bunch of my photos then they'll come to my page and say oh I like her things and she'll start following me so um, that's an option but that is all covered on Tanner's call so I'm not going to go super in depth about that um fit girls underscore inspire is the feature I use um you know what I did today and I don't know if it's going to pan out or not but I have a ton of um golden retriever pages that have like hundreds of thousands of followers. So I messaged all them to see if they would do a feature as a, for like fitness minded dog moms, because yeah. then it's, it's getting you away from like all the other fitness people yeah. into a whole new market and they might not be as expensive, but I haven't heard back from any of them yet. Yeah. And I mean, the other thing is, is like if go, and go to those pages and, you know, people that comment, just go to them. And those can be the people you five, three, one, like, look, go to them, look at them. If they comment on a post, go to their page, see if they're your target market. If not, no, if they are, I three, one them. Cause that's right away. You have got that golden retriever, you know, connection or whatever it is. So if your, your hobby is, you know, I seriously don't know what a hobby is. I just keep thinking of wine. Um, say you like to, surf <laughs> then you search you go to searching pages or you know things like that and you see people that are commenting or liking and engage with them um so that's an idea too of getting more target market when you're not sure where to go from by three wanting um but yeah that's a good idea danielle and then i also do that on facebook i join like german shepherd groups and things like that and i'll make a comment i'll post something i'll comment on other people's photos and then after i you know interact with them a little bit i'll add them so then, you know, they see my posts, I talk to them, I try to get them into free clean eating groups when we do free groups. Um, and those are people right there. I've probably turned three, now four people from uh, yard sale sites into clients and coaches too. So people on their yard sale, they love to shop and their chances are they might want your product too. So if I post anything on the Facebook yard sale, I add everybody that likes their comments. So I say, hey, I'll just add you so that, you know, my message doesn't go to the other folder or if I'm ever interested in something and instead of, you know, I comment, but then I also add that person. Um, so that's another way to add people to your network. Uh, you can take that. I'm not using that. Sorry. I stole it. Um, and then the last thing was the challenge groups. So any account on ID can do a feature post. No, only if they are a feature account. So chances are they'll have a, they'll, it'll say kick K I K and it'll say their name. And then you will message them and say, hey, I'd like a feature. How much for it? Um, kind of thing. So challenge groups. Okay, this is the big thing that I wanted to talk about. What I did today is I went live and I said, you know, I would be a big butthead if I didn't tell you 
why I love coaching and why you're already 79% more likely to be an amazing, successful coach. Because in, I talked to my corporate mentor yesterday, Keyshawn, who did that awesome call for our diamonds last week. If you haven't watched it yet, watch it. It's on uh, my YouTube. It's so, so, so good. It was so motivating. So I was talking to her and she said that 79% um, of diamond coaches were challengers to start with. That's a huge statistic. Me, I signed on as a coach right out of the bat. I didn't even know, you know, what Shakeology was, things like that. So it's not to say that that isn't, but 79% of diamond coaches started as challengers. Your best coaches often come from challengers because they love the product, they love the group, they believe in the, they believe in it. So might as well say, hey, you're gonna say 25%. You can just, you know, and you talk, I told them about the discount coach, the hobby coach, the business building, but why not, you know, just try to, you know, get people on board or get your shape paid for, things like that. So I am very candid about like, I'd be a huge butthead if I didn't share this for you. If it's not for you, that's fine. I'm not pressuring you into it, but why would you not want the discount? You know, and I always use my mom as an example. My mom is a veteran, so she doesn't even have to pay the $15 a month fee. She saves $30 a month on her shake. It's a no-brainer that she's a discount coach. Why would she not? You know, she doesn't make one post. She doesn't talk to anybody about it, but she is a discount coach. So I talk to people about that, too. So it's not about, like, oh, I can't be a coach. You don't have to tell it's soul. You're a coach if you don't want to, but I want you to save the money. I have some girls that – I have a girl that's literally bought like 12 challenge packs and I finally got her to sign on as a coach and then she quit because she's like, oh, I don't have the money. And then next, the month after, she bought another challenge pack. I, like, I, so I just don't understand why sometimes people won't, but if you're loving the product, it's just a no-brainer. Let me be a coach. Let me save the money. So I'm very candid about that and talking to them. Don't be afraid to talk to them about coaching. It's not salesy when you're like, I want to save you money and you're rocking this. If you're going to be doing Shakeology for longer than a month, it's a no-brainer that you do it for the discount. Um, so yeah, daily plugs. Um, I also started considering them, um, I kind of stole this from Ashley. She, her team name is the good vibe. Wait, the good vibe tribe. Wait. Yeah. I need help. Good vibe tribe. So, um, I love the word tribe and I love that it can be challengers. It can be coaches. So in my, dis in my challenge group, a lot of times I'll be like, you know, our, this is our tribe of women da, 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 and it feels they feel connected and things like that um and so just kind of like using words that make you guys feel connected a lot of them they know they're a part of it it's not just a group i run they know that they're a part of the community one other thing i did last month was i did a um gift exchange and anybody that wanted to you know spend 15 to 20 dollars on a gift they put their name into a google spreadsheet i made and i i sent them a message i assigned them a um person and they sent a gift and they, I said, you're going to, I, on the spreadsheet, I asked for their name, interests, um, t-shirt tank top size and address. And so it was a surprise. They got it in the mail and they all loved it. That worked out really cool. So that was really cool. Then they tagged everybody and a lot of them sent workout shirts. So it was really cool. They're like, Oh, this workout was so fun. I got to do it in this new tank top. Thank you so much. So that's a great idea that you don't have to spend any money on. You can literally just get them to do it with other people. And they love that because people love gifts in the mail. Um, and then this is what I'm going to do each month. I'm going to start a new challenge group. The first week is always kind of like a prep week where you talk about meal prepping. Um, you talk about clean eating, um, you know, meal planning, things like that. And then when I start the, at the end of the challenge group, what I'm going to start doing is making a video. And I'm going to say, thank you guys so much. I'm so excited. Um, you know, what your next step is, is you can either one, can, I will put you into our general fitness accountability group where People are just continuing on with the program they have. Um, or you can join our tribe, join our team as a coach with a new program um, and get signed up for the discount. You can either work the business, you can do it just for the discount. Um, but being a coach on our team, whether or not you want to work it or not, that gives you access to all of our next challenge groups. So I kind of love that because it's like you either get this general fitness group, which is so-so, mm, so, I won't really be posting in there, or you can become a coach on our team whether you want it just for the discount or you want to, um, you know, get your shakes paid for or you want to quit your job. But either way, as a coach on our team, you get to be a part of our challenge group every month. And why I do this is because if I didn't do that, we might have 1,200 people in our challenge group. 
that doesn't work. That would not be successful for anybody. Um, and that's just not feasible. So we have to do that because otherwise I would have way too many people in one place. And so that makes them understand, like, I'm not doing this because I want to make money on you. I'm doing this because I want you to have the best experience possible. And it gets people to know, I either go back to this boring group <laughs> or I become a coach on her team, whether or not I want to be a coach or I want to just do it for the discount. People, when you have that successful challenge group vibe, people want to be a part of that. They have made connections with other people in the group. They want to continue on. Um, so when you give them that option, I think that's just really, really cool because they're like, okay, yeah, I want to sign me up because I want to continue on. This group has been really fun. So I have started doing um, a point tally where people have to post points, comment on things. Um, and then I do like, I did a $25 Target gift card last week. Um, I'm not sure what I'll do this week. Sometimes I do, um, Shakeology packets. Sometimes I do, um, you know, it just depends. Sometimes I'll do like a swell bottle or something like that. Not swell, like a knockoff because swell or like so expensive, but, um, so things like that. People love prizes. And uh, I will also have my assistant, I make her tally the points and do a graphic of who has the most. Um, I, if you ever want assistant, Christina Irwin, who I tagged in a post today, she's actually in our team page, so I could tag her. She tallies up everything. She's like $6 an hour. Like pay somebody $12 a week and they can have, they do that for your challenge group and you don't have to do it. Like, it's not like you have to fork over a ton of money. She would be happy to do that for you. It's not like it takes her a ton of time and it's something off your plate that you don't need to be doing. Um, if you need graphics, that was the Michelle girl I tagged. Um, feel free to just say, you know, can I work on a weekly basis? Can you just make my leaderboard for the week? Things like that, that you aren't doing or you are doing that take up too much time, just get it off your plate. Um, so yeah, so that's all I kind of had, um, for that, but I'm just going to make it like, okay, this is our next group. If you want to join us, join our team. If not, we'll put you in the basic, um, accountability, you know, general group. Um, but you know, things like that. Brittany, Michelle is making me a cover photo. Yay. That's awesome. Um, okay, cool. So do you guys have any questions about anything I talked about or anything in general? I just blabbered on about a ton of stuff. Um, all right, so takeaways, be consistent in everything you do. Um, sneak peek into my challenge group. Yeah, I'll share the link and you can add yourself. Um, one thing I used to do was post your breakfast below, post your lunch below. And now it's just kind of crazy. I need to get on the phone with my assistant and make it more structured. I basically like have your tally post and then everybody posts everywhere and it's kind of crazy right now. Um, so I need to get, I'm supposed to get on the phone with her so I can figure out how to keep that more structured. Um, oh, sneak peek. I forgot about that. Sneak peek is the third Monday of every month. So that's this coming Monday. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to post this week. Have you ever thought about doing what I do as a coach? Good news. You can join us. Like, um, take a look at how Brittany Leggett posts on that. She's a top coach. She's always posting about them and she does a really great job at that. Um, post about it all week, especially the weekend, get people added. And then I also told my challengers that I'm going to post those posts from that group in my challenge group next week. And if they don't like it, scroll through it. If they want to watch it, cool. It'll save them the discount. Oh, not for coaching. Okay. Um, but I did want to say that. So thank you. The sneak peek went okay. Um, I had, I had two girls purchase, so it was good. Um, Ooh, I don't think I cleared, cleared them out. I need to clear out like three more girls clear out. Um, so yeah, just make sure you write down everybody that you add into. If you do a free sneak peek, I, li I like to do it the first week of the month when people are really active and you're sharing the top tools about clean eating and meal prepping and things like that. And then I'm like, okay, if you guys don't purchase by tonight, we love you. We are so glad to have you, but this is just for my challengers because I put a lot of time and effort into it and they understand like, this is my job. I don't get paid to run challenge groups. I do it because I love it, but I do it for my clients that are paid clients. So, um, I think that's a great idea. Anytime you can do a week sneak peek. Um, you had the open to the public. Did you interact much with them? Um, I checked in with the people that I added. Um, they were, it's up to them if they posted or not. I had two of them that were posting a lot and they ended up signing up and buying challenge packs. Um, I didn't drag it out of them. I just checked in with them 
dates, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and was like, okay, hey, how have you liked it? You know, do you want to join us? And if not, bye. Um, <laughs> but, you know, either way, it was a good planting a seed for them. So also the fourth Thursday of every month is the live What is Coaching event, which happens to be next week too. It's usually different weeks, but so that you're going to have the three-day sneak peek on Monday, and then your Thursday is going to be that live What is Coaching event at 8.30 p.m. So what I'm going to do is really cool because then we can invite everybody that was in the three-day sneak peek also to that if they need more information. Um, always, always, always invite your challengers to that live event too. I do that every month because – why not? They like you anyways. That's why they're with you. Um, just have them see, you know, hey, have you ever thought about getting your, your um, products and shakes for a discount or possibly paid for? Join us Thursday at 830. And, you know, um, a coach on my team or my coach April is going to um, just kind of share a little bit, super laid back uh, about what coaching is. Bring a glass of wine, join us there kind of thing. So I definitely always think that you should talk to your challengers about joining our team because that's exactly who you want on your team is people that love the product and things like that. So another thing I do too in my challenge, if I, if I see people that post um, cool things or, you know, awesome posts, I'm like, I'll just comment, share this to your personal page. This is amazing. People will be so inspired or people will love this. I don't care if they're a challenger or a post. I'm always like, share this to your personal page. This is awesome. And it's kind of like grooming them to be coaches because they're, they're sharing that. And then when they get, when they share that and they get interaction, I'm like, girl, do you see how many people liked and commented on that? You should be a coach. You're already doing half, you know, more than half of what my coaches are doing, <laughs> you know, things like that. I'll just say, you know, you're already doing more than some of my coaches and things like that. So. Um, that's kind of all the tips I have to be you really try to make connections in your challenge group, do videos, be live, be silly, be goofy, let them connect with you and they're going to want to join your team. So, um, again, that's all I have <laughs> I'm gonna wrap up again. Does anybody have any questions?